Hey, what's up, Guardians? TBL here, and we're back bringing you some Destiny Taken King action. It is Wednesday, which of course means it is Arms Day at the Gunsmith, and he's got some brand new weapons for us to check out. I hope you Guardians placed your orders because he's got at least one very good weapon. I only picked up one weapon order from him last week, and it was for this bad boy right here, the Suros PDX-45 Pulse Rifle. This thing is a monster. It's basically the Hawksaw. Well, except in Suros form. And over the course of this video, we're going to be covering the three different versions that you could pick up from the Gunsmith today if you picked up the Faction Package last week, and which one I think is the best. But alright, let's check out the perks for number one here. In the first tree, it's got high caliber rounds as well as oiled frame for a faster reload with reduced range. Next up, we've got unflinching to help you when you're aiming under fire. And then in the last tree, we have rifled barrel and speed reload. Rifled barrel pretty much doubles the range on this gun, so if you're looking for a pulse rifle with as much range as possible, then that would be a great perk to go with. But this is a very high rate of fire pulse rifle, so you're going to want as much stability as possible. It's also got the interesting SRO41 sights, which highlight guardians that have their super as well as high level enemies. Pretty interesting. Alright, let's take a look at roll number two. This is personally my pick for the week. It's got the same sights as the other roll, but the middle perks are all about stability. In the first tree, we've got fitted stock for increased stability, as well as casket mag, which increases your magazine size but reduces stability. Next up, we've got counterbalance, and then in the final tree, we have snapshot for fast aiming, and then injection mold, which further increases your stability and your handling. For a high rate of fire pulse rifle, this is almost perfect. It's going to give you that stability you're really looking for, and it's pretty much going to turn this thing into a laser beam. That's the pick I would definitely go with. But let's take a look at number three. Now, variant number three is quite an interesting beast. In the first tree, it's got hammer forge for increased range and accuracy, oiled frame for a faster reload but reduced range, take a knee for, you know, gained accuracy while you're crouching. I'm not sure why that's on here. Snapshot for faster aiming and reinforced barrel, which pretty much doubles this gun's range. If you are looking for a variant of this gun with as much range and accuracy as possible, this is the one. And that is pretty much it for the three rolls of the Suros PDX-45 that was available for, uh, for pre-order last week and pick up today. Again, I'm going with variant number two here because it's got maximized stability and I can't wait to mess with this thing. But all right, let's move on a little bit here because this isn't the only thing worth looking at from the gunsmith today. As part of the patch that went live yesterday, you guys might have noticed something new in the gunsmith's inventory. He is now selling weapon parts 5 for 250 Glimmer. I am super psyched about this. Let me show you guys something. I haven't had weapon parts since House of Wolves. And look at that, 111 weapon parts. I went ham yesterday, spent all of my money picking some up. This is a fantastic change. And while I agree with a lot of the Guardians out there who are <laughs> saying, well, Bungie never should have nerfed the weapon part drop rate in the first place, I agree with that. But I'm definitely glad to have another avenue to pick them up. I can finally, finally max out my guns. And it feels good to finally be able to do that. All right then, now the last thing we're going to be talking about is the Iron Banner itself. Lord Saladin is back and he has got some brand new gear for us to check out. So we're going to very quickly go over his inventory and see what the big man's got for sale. Now this week Lord Saladin is offering the Iron Banner chest piece as well as the gauntlet. No class item this time around though. Both of these can be bought at 280 light and come with an intellect discipline stat split. The perks however will vary based on what class you're playing as. You can get the chest piece at rank 3, and you can get the gauntlets at rank 4. Although it is worth noting that the chest piece starts dropping as soon as you hit rank 2, and from what I've seen, the drop rate is pretty high this time around. Also, you'll get a better light level too. I've noticed uh, the chest piece and other pieces of armor dropping for guardians at well over 300 light. Alright, the first weapon Lord Saladin's got is Finalis Peril the legendary Iron Banner hand cannon. This thing is basically the same model as the Timer's Lash, but stat-wise, it's pretty much a fate bringer. It's definitely an interesting combination. Its notable perks are Relentless Tracker, Small Bore, and Third Eye, which keeps your radar active at all times when you're ADSing with the gun. Also, its natural magazine size of 10 is pretty good for where hand cannons are right now, although hopefully with the uh, rumored weapon balance update coming next month, that'll put hand cannons in a better spot, and it might actually be worth picking this thing up, or maybe getting it from a drop while you're playing through the Iron Banner. You have a better chance of getting a 300 plus one that way anyways. Next up, we have Bredemard Stand, the legendary machine gun, and pretty much like the hand cannon, it's the same model as a previous Iron Banner weapon, this time the Yolder's Hammer, but stat-wise, it's basically a BTRD, which is that fantastic a uh, legendary machine gun from year one. The worthwhile perks on this thing are Accurized Ballistics, Spray and Play, Hand Laid Stock for a great boost to stability, and finally Crowd Control, which is always fantastic on any machine gun you can get it on, especially one of this archetype. 
This gun right here is pretty much the reason to run Iron Banner this time around. It's an absolutely fantastic machine gun that you're probably going to be seeing a lot of once people start reaching rank 5. But alright, that's pretty much it for the weapons and armor Lord Saladin is selling this time. You can pick up the hand cannon once you reach rank 4, and the machine gun once you reach rank 5. Or if you're luckier than I am, you may start getting them from drops once you hit rank 4 and rank 5 respectively. Good luck, Guardians! Alright, next up, let's check out the weekly bounties. First up, we've got Iron Gauntlet, which requires that you get a 10 kill streak, 5 double kills, the top overall score, and reach rank 4. The next weekly bounty is Iron Marathon, which requires that you get 13 total match completions and 7 total Iron Banner wins. You should just get that while you're playing through the week. Finally, we have Iron Versatility, which requires that you get 50 primary kills, 25 special weapon kills, and 13 heavy weapon kills. Completing any of these will grant you 5k experience, 525 Iron Banner rep, and 25 legendary marks. Overall, not too bad at all. You should be able to get those done before too, too long. The rest of the bounties he has are just daily ones that will reset on a daily basis, so we're not really going to take our time covering those. But I will say that once you reach rank 3 and rank 5 respectively, you will get a faction package from Lord Saladin that can contain any of the gear he's got for sale as well as an artifact or a ghost. Which basically means you've got a lot of incentive to play the Iron Banner this time around. I know I am definitely going to be diving right back into it. It's clash mode now rather than control, so you have to rely on teammates a little bit less, and hopefully it'll be a little bit less of a headache this time. But alright, that's pretty much everything we were going to cover in this video, guys. I have personally got a lot of grinding to do to get myself back up to rank 5 so I can get all of this tasty IB gear. Be sure to let me know what you think of the Iron Banner and the Gunsmith Weapons of the Week in the comment section below. What did you pick up? What are you looking forward to picking up? I want to hear it all. But alright, it's going to be it for this one guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.